Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video tutorial, we will be addressing one very common and major issue that is related to the data wrangling and that is how we can extract dates from text string through Power Query. And the steps will remain either you do it in Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Power BI. So let's get start. Uh, we have different uh, kind of dates available, but major kind of dates are already in text string as you can see the format. So the correct format for the dates which we want is in slash format as you can see here. And uh, there are some of the dates which are in text string. You can see uh, something like 31 static, then 12 static, 20, 23 then 6 comma 6 comma 2023 which is a comma delimiter and we have a date like uh, year uh, at the first then we have day and then month uh, somewhere around like we have day month and then year right uh, then we have uh, apostrophe included in this date which makes this text string and so many mix and matches uh, are there so this is a kind of a trouble data where a user gets uh, they extract the dates but I mean intentionally or unintentionally this is a kind of a garbage uh, which a user gets in different kind of date formats and we want to structure into one standard format. So as you can see here uh, what kind of uh, issues we see uh, with these uh, text string is somewhere we have dot delimiter, somewhere we have comma delimiter, hyphens, apostrophe, double dots, right? right? So how are we going to correct them? Uh, in an easy manner because there are a couple of ways if you go to Google or uh, forums you will find different uh, solutions by different awesome users uh, my purpose is to tell you uh, some easy way to learn and to adopt quickly okay so let's get start within Microsoft Excel I will be using Power Query because it's being available in either in Power BI or Excel as you like so I have this column of dates and I have uh, converted this into a table format. So we have defined a name for this table as dates. Okay. Now to go into the Power Query in Excel, you will click on data tab and then you will click on from table or range. So it will open up a Power Query editor window. All right, so we have a uh, entered into the power query this is the environment of power query so we have this dates column and i mean as a novice user you might uh, feel like that you can correct the uh, dates data type format just click on a small icon on top left side of this header and you will see this contextual menu where you can click on date and see what happens uh, some of the dates uh, different formats has been corrected but not all of them it's generating an error so we will technically not doing this we will be writing an m language code and modifying it in a simplest way okay so let's just undo this step all right so what we will be doing it we will be going to add column tab and we will be adding one custom column we date from text this is i have extracted from this documentation uh, which is available on learn.microsoft.com in the power query section so there are a couple of examples they have covered you can read it at your own adding a custom column so let's add this we will go to add column tab click on custom column it will open up a window let's give a nice name to it so let's say correct correct dates or any other name you would like to give then we will be writing the code m language code remember that power query m language uh, understand the case sensitive so the code will be date from text bracket open double click on this dates field bracket close now press ok now see some of the dates has been refined i mean that isn't in the correct format whereas some of them are not so no matter we will be editing uh, this code a little bit so we'll to move to the next line press shift enter and here we will do some modifications so we can place a comma here and we have another argument as options as any so we'll put a square bracket 
we will write format equals to all right inverted commas and let's uh, pick this particular uh, date format which is in static so you have to write a format which is in in incorrect format basically in your database okay so let's say i will write dd for day then static uh, remember capital m is for month a small m is for minutes uh, defined here in the code okay and then y y y and then close the bracket press enter key so see it technically uh, grabs this particular uh, format which we have defined in this code uh, right uh, eventually we can experiment some other as well let's say for the second one uh, in this we have uh, dot static then dot static and month and then here so it's now correcting this particular date format right similarly let's pick one more uh, this one in this particular format we have hyphen signs and year at the first so let's write y y y year then we have uh, day and month will become in capital press enter key see now this particular code is being targeting this kind of text string uh, and converting into a date now what happens because we have a different kind of text string dates in in uh, one similar column and we want to execute the code in such a way that it resolve in this particular column Okay, we don't need to add some helper columns or to uh, make it a bit more complex. So for that, how to handle it? Let and we will say try this code and then copy this entire code. Copy and move to next line. Press Shift Enter. Otherwise, otherwise try. And then we will target to the next different kind of text string from here. So let's say this one. Okay. So we will write here day static month static then year and we'll say otherwise null type date bracket. All right. So Alright, so now as you can see here, we have uh, put a, each different kind of format in a different line uh, with otherwise try and we have defined all the incorrect formats which we have identified from our data. And the last one is uh, because some of the dates were already in the correct form, we have used otherwise null. So instead, uh, we can say that otherwise give us our dates. So that will technically come from here and we can set now this particular column format as date. So see all the different kind of text strings uh, date formats has been correct uh, in, in a single column with this particular code. So this is the code. Uh, so now after applying the code, let's go to home tab. Let's click on close and load. And it will open up a new worksheet where we have the refined uh, data as you can see here now for example if I add intentionally some other wrong formats in future let's say if I copy this and paste it downwards here and let's say this is 2021 this is could be uh, 9 or this could be let's say 11 0, 8. So I'm just adding a data. Basically, I'm appending the data. Now you will go to the solution part and just click on right click, refresh. And that's it. Your date formats are now being, because all the steps you do in Power Query technically automates your process. And once your data gets appended in the future, it will handle all those incorrect text string date formats automatically until unless if anything differently comes in. Uh, and if that occurs we just need to modify our code differently thank you